What is up YouTube? It is Optination Review here with another Transformer movie news update. That is right. We have even more Transformer movie news to discuss. And I would like to correct a past statement that I had said. <clears throat> it is not a full Beast Wars movie. What I mean by that, it is not 100% a Beast Wars movie. It is an introduction to the Beast Wars. Alright. The official working title of this film is Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Oh, I cannot wait. It is coming out in June 24th, 2022. Today it is currently... The 23rd. Tomorrow will be officially one year until Transformers Rise of the Beasts comes out. I almost forgot it. Jeez. It's been a long day. <clears throat> All right. So, today, meaning yesterday, TFW 2005 got involved in a special movie update event that was hosted by Paramount. It was hosted virtually. TFW 2005 was there. And they got a bunch of awesome content. <clears throat> and I will warn you guys, although it's not really spoilers, I, if you don't want to know anything about this movie, stop watching right now. But if you want to find out, keep watching. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into it. <clears throat> so, this is the seventh live action Transformers film. If, if you really want to go in chronological order. It was Bumblebee, Transformers, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Transformers Dark of the Moon, Transformers Age of Extinction, and then Transformers The Last Night. And uh, this R Rise of the Beasts is supposedly a continuation of the Bumblebee movie because it is set in 1994. And... Um, <clears throat> Uh, so the events of the movie will take place in 1994 like I said uh, the location is going to be uh, Peru and also they're going to be filming in Montreal, Canada uh, Montreal is supposed to be standing in for Brooklyn, New York and um <clears throat> This is where the uh, spoilers come up. Again, if you don't want to uh, know any more about the movie, stop watching right now. But without further ado, let's get right into it. <clears throat> so, uh, Anthony Ramos will be uh, the star of the show, of the movie. And Dominique Fishback will also be in the movie. Um... And, uh... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just trying to... Find where I was at. Um... <clears throat> so, this... The... The previous Transformers films have always been tied uh, to human civilization. Uh, this one will be tied to the Incas. Um, their tradition, way of life is explored through Cybertronian eyes. That's going to be really awesome. So we will have Maximals and Predacons, Terracons, all that fun stuff. <clears throat> Maximals and Predacons will be prominently featured in the movie. Also, we will see Terracons. Predacons and Terracons are not allies. 
Terracons are the main baddies. Predacons are reptilian in nature and are the enemies of the Maximals. Meanwhile, Terracons are a threat to them all, but more in opposition to the Autobots. Now, in this movie, I, even though, yes, uh, the announcement uh, from the official Transformers page said that we will be getting Autobots and Decepticons as well, in my opinion, I don't think we'll see a lot of Decepticons. We'll see a lot of dead Decepticons, uh, but I, I just don't think that uh, the Decepticons will be the main premonition of, of this film. <clears throat> so here it says um, Optimus Prime is the lead character, as always, and his alt mode is an upgraded version of the G1 look from the Bumblebee movie. Think. Think. Uh, the B-movie Earth mode of Optimus Prime with a gray torso, uh, gray windshield flaps, gray upper shoulder parts that lead into the smokestacks. Peter Collin will obviously once again return to voice the role of Optimus Prime. That is a great thing. You can't get too much of Peter Collin because he is just a legend. <clears throat> um, this will show how Optimus became becomes the leader he was in Bay movies oh wow so we'll actually get like a backstory to Optimus a little bit so there we go um, why does he have his connection to earth humans etc Bumblebee will be a classic Camaro with off-road extensions it will be a second gen 70s Camaro with a raised Z28 badging, external framing, chunky wheels, light bar on top, a la ratchet, whatever that means. <laughs> but we will find out. Mirage will be a silver blue Porsche 911. His characterization is similar to AoE crosshairs. He is anti-authority, can transform into multiple types of vehicles. Uh, not sure if they were talking about his history or actually in this movie. So we will find that out uh, in the film or as the production progresses. They will hopefully reveal more, <coughs> reveal more about uh, Mirage. RC will be making an appearance in this film. RC's robot mode is close to G1. Sorry if I butcher this. Is a Ducati 916 motorcycle, red with rose pink white headlights. Classic head, Ducati bike, racing number on leg. That'll be cool. <clears throat> Nightbird is included as a Nissan GTR. She is also a Terracon, purplish gray in color. She is a modernized version of the G1 character of the same name. Face mask with robo looking head, switch sides, allegiances are flexible, so she may waver sides. So that'll also be really interesting to see. <coughs> All right, and Scourge will be the leader of the Terracons. He is a trophy hunter like Lockdown from Age of Extinction. When he kills, he, he rips the faction insignias and tattoos them onto his body. Cheese. <laughs> Four smokestacks on the back, all smoking. That'll be cool to see. Claw hand with electricity. Black and gray tone with orange pops. Not black convoy looking, but probably a truck due to smokestacks in art. We uh, Next we have Air Razor. Um, is a robotic bird. Rest, 
Rusty Bird mode. That's cool. Steampunk esque. Silhouette is very real. I can't talk today. Ha! Huh? Uh. Anyway. Silhouette is very real world bird like, but plated and layered. Looks old. Been here. Probably they're they're probably talking about like been here on Earth a bit. Blue eyes glowing. <laughs> okay, Beast Man. If you watch this, you will love this. Next we have Rhinox. Yes, you heard that here, folks. Rhinox will be in the film. <clears throat> well, he needs no introduction. Also, very rhino shaped obviously <laughs> plated also steampunk just, bleh, you know, I can get like I said I can't talk also steampunk and rusty ironhide like that'll be cool to see um, wants to use his horn again looks old like old metal been here a bit probably also on earth we'll see as the production goes on um Next, it talks about fans have seen Optimus Primal before. Remember the the last night CGI concept art? Yeah, you guys remember that? Well, yep, but with much more fur. And we don't know whether he whether they're talking about if uh, this is separate to Optimus Prime or if it's the same like character, but instead of transforming into robot mode. Uh, he'll transform from a truck into um, into uh, Optimus Primal, but we'll see. <coughs> um, he's the leader of the Maximals and is very protective of those who are under his protection. You don't mess with Primal, <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> anyway, Rusty Underframe looks like random patches of skin. Fur layered on top, like he's been through some stuff. Wow, they have it in here twice. He's the leader of Maximals, equal in stature to Prime. Okay, so because they say equal to stature in Prime, it, this probably is uh, separate, um, separate to Optimus Prime. So that'll be interesting to see Optimus Primal and Optimus Prime. Unless... Later in the film, Optimus Prime uh, converts uh, and scans a new form into Optimus Prime. Well, that's probably what they're talking about. <clears throat> uh, Dominique Fishback will play Elena. Uh, she'll be a researcher of artifacts, works in museum. Boss keeps stealing your thunder. Kind of like in uh, The Last Night. Um... <clears throat> Kind of like in the last night when, uh, why can't I remember her name? Wow. But you know who I'm talking about, the, <sighs> brain fart, but you, you guys, if you've seen the last night, you know who I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Uh, for forgetting it. It's it's been a really long day. Anthony Ramos will play Noah, father figure to brother, ex military, trying to find his way, good with electronics, trying to get by. He was a Beast Wars guy. Uh, they're talking about in real life, because uh, he loved Beast Wars, <clears throat> and he name dropped characters. A bio. Uh, both are from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Happy to mix the TF with their real life neighborhood. Uh, Ramos got his license for this movie. How New York of him. <laughs> it's actually what it says here. Uh, can't, um, we don't know if uh, Beast Wars voice actors will be back. Hopefully. Uh, lots of smiles. <laughs> A <laughs> uh, lot of characters we haven't seen yet. All the Maximals are hard to bring to the screen. 
Rhinox wants to smash. Like Hulk smash. No. It's, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, also, Brains of the Operation. Shows a connection to Origin Tune. That, that's good. <clears throat> How to actually try to disguise themselves. They'll be shoot. Okay. And uh, they'll be shooting improved for six weeks. Um, this is a spectacle story, big action movie with deeper character story style from the Bumblebee movie that we had. So it's a bigger production. It's going to be $200 million budget film. Kind of like how the Michael Bay films were, how they were like big budget. So that is really, really awesome. <clears throat> um, and they're going to combining the two. Key was, it's not a small budget film like I just reiterated. Uh, this is summer blockbuster level stuff, like big like Michael Bay explosions. There will probably be Michael Bay-esque explosions in there. But we'll see. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, well, that's about it. Uh, I would like to thank Paramount, uh, the movie team, and Hasbro. Oh, this is what TF2005 said. But I would also like to thank them for uh, uh, sharing with us, sharing with TFW2005 so that way they could share it with us. All this great information. And, uh, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast news in upcoming months. And uh, I can't wait to see it. Uh, again, it comes out in June 24th, 2022. Uh, we will hopefully see uh, trailers probably by, I'd probably say March of next year. So, yeah, that'll be uh, really uh, interesting to uh, find out. <clears throat> um, but uh, as you guys have all heard, Optimus Prime will be back. Bumblebee will be back. Uh, they're introducing some awesome new characters. Uh, to a live action film uh, Transformers franchise anyway uh, this is uh, Optination Review thank you for watching guys and I hope you liked this uh, movie news update I was so stoked when I heard about this alrighty you guys to all are one have a great night